Kenya is the leading tea producer in Africa and its impeccable quality of black tea ranks its third position behind India and China in the world. In Kenya, tea is also the leading agricultural foreign exchange honor. The recent report by Agricultural Food Authority released in February this year showed Kenya exported over 474 million kilograms of tea, fetching $1.37 billion for its farmers in 2018. As the world tries to find innovative solutions to curb the greenhouse gases emissions by using less fossil fuel and using clean energy solutions, the famed tea growing county of Kericho in Kenya has not been left behind. Renewable and sustainable energy solutions are the savior of the many tea factories which spend over 90% of their monies into producing heat while 10% is used in lighting the industries. In the heart of Kericho County welcomes you Chelal Tea Factory, a satellite factory of Latin tea factory. Here at Chelal, they mill over 15 million kilograms of green leaf tea annually alongside 3.45 million kilos of ready-to-drink tea. But there's trouble in paradise as the 90% of heat and steam is generated through burning of firewood. The wood then heats up boilers, which in turn provide steam to dry or wither the tea leaves before they are processed. This means depletion of forest in order to meet the high wood demand. In Kericho, thousands of eucalyptus trees have been planted as they seem to provide the much needed demand for firewood as they grow faster. We caught up with engineers of a Swedish company, Absolicon, and WWF Kenya, who have partnered with Tea Land Industry to bring a new technology solution that will help provide clean energy through solar power. The tea factories in Kenya, for a long time, we know rely a lot on uh, firewood as a source of their thermal heat. Uh, we think, um, whereas this has happened for long, it may not be very sustainable in the future. For one, especially the smallholder tea sector don't have their own plantations, so they rely a lot on the farmers. So then the cost has gone up as a result of that. Well, sustainability is always a difficult question to assess, but the way that uh, firewood is used in the drying process and the withering process of the tea is obviously not uh, a long-term solution. Uh, especially since the sun is always out there, readily available, and could do equally good job. At Chilal Factory, they use an estimated cost of 45 million Kenyan shillings annually in buying firewood to run the factory independent of the electricity bills. And, uh, our energy consumption is uh, basically our energy is uh, basically generated uh, by use of wool. And in a month, we consume about uh, 1,500 cubic meters of firewood. Uh, that translates to about 3.4 million kilo shillings per month. Chelal Factory has also acquired 260 acres of land in order to grow their own eucalyptus trees as it is expensive to buy. Wood is, a, is a, something that you can grow and reuse. But as, as a factory, we have decided to buy land so that we can grow our own uh, trees. Uh, but another, a better source of energy like, uh, like the sun, if we can be able to harvest the heat, would be a better alternative than, than using wood because of the environment, in, environmental impact it has on, on uh, our environment. But with the new technology, Absolicon says these costs will go down to enable the factory focus on making more profits for its shareholders. Uh, everything is always not perfect, of course. So let's say three years. Three years worth of, of firewood investments will give them their energy needs covered. So that's, that's, uh, that's the economic sense in it. The solutions we have are uh, Absolicon uh, solar collectors. Uh, there are solar panels uh, that create a uh, steam. Uh, mostly what people have been selling in the local industry is uh, the PV, solar PVs. But uh, we decided to look at the other area that required attention. 
which was the solar collectors? Well, we work with uh, solar energy, and many people instantly think about solar electricity, but that's not what we work with. We work with solar heat. So we produce solar collectors uh, for utilizing the sunlight into heat, to produce heat, heating power. So that's what we are doing, and uh, currently the solar collector that we have uh, designed is actually the best in the world. All eyes are set on Chilal Tea Factory in Kericho County as it embraces new technologies to help save on the millions of shillings used to buying firewood annually. The litmus test is on Absolicon and WWF as they provide the solar-powered solutions. Winnie Kamau for Talk Africa.